Hi, my name is Austin Leibel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use SQL to pivot data to make it more understandable and consumable. Let's get to it. All right, hello, my name is Austin Leibel and I am a trainer at Pragmatic Works and we do training on many different Microsoft products, including the Power Platform, Azure, and SQL. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how do we pivot data with SQL. I recently released a class on the Pragmatic Works On Demand Learning Platform that you can go through and watch to learn more about this, but I wanted to give a little tease as to why you would want to pivot SQL and why you would wanna pivot data in general. So we're gonna use a SQL query to be able to go through and pivot our data and get it in the form to be able to analyze it potentially a little bit easier. Now, on my screen here, I have two different scripts I'm going to run. I'm going to first create a temporary table called movies that has some information like the names of my movie, the release year, the director, as well as the genre. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this script now to create my temporary table, which is just a, a temporary result that's stored only in this query window here. And then since I've now created my table, I'm going to insert just some sample data into it with some movies that I've liked over the years. Uh, whether you like them or not, the opinions might vary, but just going to give us some sample data to work with so that we can pivot this. So I'm going to go ahead and insert these records into my temporary movies table. I'm going to go ahead and execute that, and I have 10 movies that are in this table. Now, let's go look at our table real quick before we get to this business question we want to answer about our movies, just so we can understand the structure of what it currently looks like and maybe some of the limitations with that. So we have this table here with some movie IDs as the primary key. We have some uh, description columns like the name of the movie, the genre, who the director was, the release year, things like that. So what if we have a question that comes in and says, hey, how many movies in each genre were released per year? Well, there's ways with SQL we could answer that question, but we want to easily visualize that in some sort of very consumable form so that others maybe who don't know SQL or know the principles behind it can easily look at that and see the results very quickly for themselves. Maybe more like a, an Excel report uh, look and feel to it. So in order to do that, we could potentially take this data in its current form and do what we call a pivot on it to get it in the uh, more denormalized form for analysis. So let's go ahead and show how we can do that. And I'm going to show you two different ways that we potentially can do that. To start with, I'm going to show you the operator called pivot to be able to make this transformation occur. So what I'm going to start with is a traditional select statement, select star, and then I'm going to say from. But from here, I'm not going to go through and actually query the movie's temporary table right away. I'm actually going to make a sub query, which is a query inside of a larger query to be able to point to specific columns on my results, on my movies temporary table result. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say, I want to select the release year, as well as the genre from the temporary table called movies. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that up and I'm gonna call that my source. This is where I'm getting my data from. This is gonna be how I actually go through and actually release, uh, get the data into that. Make sure I have release year gone through and uh, take that space away. So now this isn't getting my data for myself, but I want to go through and pivot that data. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the pivot operator. I'm going to open that up with a parenthesis. And then as a part of the pivot operator, I'm always going to be going through and doing some sort sort of aggregation that I want to go and take the data and kind of wrap it up in some form or fashion. So for this example, I'm going to use the count aggregator. I'm going to use the count function to go and count the genre of the different movies out there. And then I want to say four. Now four is how we're going to actually go through and place these different genres in their own new column and how we're going to kind of see our data described. So what I'm gonna say is for the genre column, I want to go and put these specific values over here in my genre column, sci-fi, drama, 
crime, uh, action, romance. I'm going to create new columns with those values. So I'm going to take the values in my genre and I'm going to pivot them into new columns. So I literally need to just go through and place the name of those values there. So I'm going to have a sci-fi column. I'm going to have a drama column, a crime column, action, and finally, romance. I'm going to wrap up my end list here. I'm also going to go and wrap up my pivot transformation and I'm going to call this is my pivot. Now I'm also going to go through and just do an order by an order by my release year just to make it easily consumable. We can see every single value for ourselves there. Now we might need to go through and put sci-fi because of that dash there in the uh, um, kind of brackets just to make everything wrap up a little better. We have a little squiggle there. Let's go ahead and see our results. So we've gone through and we have pivoted our data. We have the release year is our uh, option here that we've kept alongside just to be able to see how many movies were released per year in each of these genres. And then we've gone through and done a count of the genre column and taken the values that are in that genre column and placed them in their own new columns. So we see that, hey, we have uh, two movies that were in drama for the year 94. We have one movie that was in romance for the year 94. I believe that was Titanic. Now, there's another way that we have a potential option to do this as well. Maybe you don't like this. Maybe it doesn't make sense. Why are we doing this for? I don't understand how we get that. I don't understand which ones to do. There's another way we could easily do this as well. Instead of using the pivot operator, we could actually go through and use a case statement and go through and do an aggregation with a case statement. So let me show you that other method and then we'll wrap this video up. So I'm going to go through again and say I want to select from my movies table. Uh, in order to go through and pull out some columns from there, I'm still going to want to put my release here in here. I want to keep everything I have from the other result to show you an opposite way to do it. Now, what what I would do here is I would say I want to do a sum of my case win. So when this genre is equal to sci-fi, when sci-fi is the genre, I want to sum up the values in that and then I want to give a one. So every time there is a genre column called sci-fi, we're going to add one to that. If it is not one for that specific movie, it's going to be a zero. So we're going to say else zero and then end our case statement and we're going to call that our but in brackets again, our sci-fi column. Now I'm not going to go through and show you how to do this for every single one. I think you maybe get the idea here. I am going to copy this out really quickly just so it's easily consumable and y'all can see exactly what we needed to do in order to get this result down for ourselves. And I'll clean it up a little bit and then we'll go ahead and wrap this video up. So now we've gone through, we have our different case statements to be able to get these results back. You understand case statements. Hey, when this is that, do this. Otherwise, do this other thing. Now, the other thing I need to do is make sure that I actually go through and abide by my traditional SQL principles like group by because I'm selecting the release year from my temporary movies table. I need to go through and see that alongside all of the other columns that I'm doing aggregations with. So I'm going to go through and say I want to group by my release year column and just as before I will also go through and do an order by the release year as well. So now when I go ahead and execute this I get my result back. It's the same result as before but just an alternate way to go through and do that using something again like you might understand already case statements instead of the pivot operator. Well, hopefully you have enjoyed this session. You're looking forward to maybe another session where we talk about the opposite a transaction of this, where we want to unpivot data. Look forward for that very soon as well. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up and say if you are interested in learning more about pivoting and unpivoting data with SQL, you check out our on-demand learning library where we go through and teach that exact thing, have an entire class devoted just to that principle, as well as you can also join us in one of our SQL boot camps where we teach how to do all sorts of operations with SQL. So whether you are a seasoned product pro, you want to go through and just scale up your knowledge even more, or you're just getting into SQL and want to start at the beginning, we have content and courses available for you. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed today and I will see you in the next one.